here is a uh, fully loaded black top Telecaster body that I uh, got off of eBay and I've got this Telecaster neck here that I want to put on it. Now the Telecaster uh, did not quite fit in this pocket so what I did was I took the pick guard off first and sanded down inside of here uh, as, as much as I could uh, but I didn't want to mess the pocket up. So I opted to actually sand the sides of this, which I will coat with some more uh, clear coat, some satin clear coat. But it fits in there perfectly now, as you can see. Now I have to string up the low E and the high E on this and make sure this is in the right position and drill the holes for the neck. Alright, I've got this uh, neck fitted in here and now I'm going to make sure that it's all lined up correctly before I mark where the holes are going to go. Needs to be pretty close right there. We got four marks on here uh, where to drill at, so that's good. All right, what I do is I use this screw, which is the screw that's going to go in the neck, and see how much extra there is when there's no hole in there, when it's pressed up against the neck. And I subtract a little bit from that for the uh, metal plate, neck plate that's going to go on there. So if I turn it this way so you can see, you see I'm comparing it like that by the side. And the other thing I'm going to do is I will take this neck out and to make sure my uh, calculations aren't off, I'll actually hold this bit up to the side of it to make sure it doesn't go through the fretboard so that's kind of like a double check to make sure it's not too long. So now we're going to put the final neck assembly on. Alright, let's uh, move 
we need to do first, of course, is uh, we've got this tappy stuff. The uh, scratch plate actually came with a particular plastic on it, so I'm going to pull that off. Makes it look really nice and shiny. Alright, the action of this bridge is way too low, and so I'm adjusting it. You can see down here uh, that somebody has really lowered it, and uh, I don't think it was initially set up like this. So I'm going to try to bring this bridge back up to a higher height and then adjust the strings when I get a, a new set on. This screwdriver here is a special screwdriver from a uh, guitar uh, setup kit type thing and it fits into these uh, particular screws that adjust the height of the bridge. So I'm going to bring them all the way up. And once I get the uh, strings on, I'll adjust them up or down accordingly as I need to, and I'll adjust them to the curvature of the fretboard. Loosen the string a little bit. There's a string on this one, so I need to loosen it. Get it to go down right. Just start with them fairly even right there. All right, this is a uh, 12 inch radius fretboard, and so I've got the gauge here that's the uh, correct curvature. I'm going to start to put the strings in. All right, I've put the strings on, and now what I have to do is make sure um, I've got the uh, action to a height where I think it's pretty good, but I want to uh, tune it up and test it out. But first, I want to make sure all these saddles are uh, going to the curvature of this particular fretboard, which is a 12-inch curvature. So uh, what I'm going to do is use this gauge here and uh, one was a bit high. I'm going to lower it a little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now all I have to do is all right, that's looking pretty good. Now all I have to do is uh, tune it up, test it out, make sure nothing's buzzing to make sure the height is right, the action's where I want it. And uh, the next thing after that would be to set the intonation. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.